the beans are out of the ground. So I guess like five or six days since it's been planted. And uh, they're germinating well. A little bit of yellow in some of the leaves. I'm not sure what's going on there, but overall they look pretty good. It's Sunday. The uh, Father's Day. I think that's the 16th. There's also a few hay weeds here, and the weeds are going to start to come. Ideally, I'd tine weed these beans when they're about two inches tall, so and I'd go real slow. But we're going to get a lot of rain here this week, maybe five or six inches for the next every day. It's supposed to rain. I'm hoping number one that the beans do well and they, you know, survive weather all that moisture and this field drains pretty well it's, it's one of the drier fields we've got but um, I won't be able to weed I won't be able to get in here it'll be just too muddy so I'm going to uh, hope the tine weeder can pick up this if not I'll have to roll cultivate and uh, well combine weedy beans if all goes well and right next to this field here is this test case of um, the peas, the field peas. And these came in a little late. I was about a week or two delayed because, again, it was a really wet spring. And I tine weeded these once. You can kind of see there's 14 acres here. Now, out in that, that taller green stuff is uh, thistle that made it through. And there's some weeds underneath here. There's some grasses under here. But, um, I really like the white flowers coming up. I think these things are about a month out from um, Tying weed this once pre emergence, and I didn't know it. I suspected I could have tying weeded them again after they emerged when they were two to four inches tall, but I didn't do that. That might have helped with some of the weed pressure. But this will all get swathed and laid in windrows, and then I'll run the peas through the pickup head. Now, I don't know. Still looking for a potential market for these. They can always sell it as feed grade, but um, if it meets the spec, I can. There's a food grade market, and I might be able to sell them as seed as well back to Albert Lee or any other uh, seed company that I can get in touch with. And then I'm thinking after this, I'll put buckwheat in here. This is another, this is a test plot to see how buckwheat goes on a smallish field for us. We're a decent size, but not, a, it's close to home. So I'm going to uh, keep an eye on this and we'll see how.